officially open in seven and a half hours. Voting here in the Buckeye State has been going on now for four weeks. That means many of the voters deciding on things like the traffic cameras have already cast their ballots. News Channel 5's John Kosick live at the Cuyahoga Board of Elections tonight, where more than a third of the expected vote, John, is already in. Yeah, that's right. They need about 126,000 votes inside waiting to be tallied. That's more than last year, but less than half of what we saw in 2012 when the hours to early vote were longer and the interest was higher. Marilyn Johnson hoped to cast her vote early in person today at the Board of Elections. The problem? I'm a little too late. It closed at 2. She showed up at 4. One of the many changes to early voting this year, shorter hours and the elimination of the so-called Golden Week in early October, where voters could register and vote on the same day. Even still, they had 6,162 people vote early here. If you compare that to the 2010 election, which was the most recent election where the governor was on the ballot, only 5,000 people voted early at that time. Overall, about 45% of expected voters tomorrow have either voted early in person or requested absentee ballots. And 36% of those votes already in-house waiting to be counted. Meaning all those last-minute ads, phone calls, and flyers are reaching a significant audience that's already voted. Political analyst Dr. Tom Sutton of Baldwin Wallace says candidates are targeting the early voters with direct mail while using the broader media push to encourage the 60% who won't vote to get out. So I think what candidates are doing is they don't want to shy away from what has worked in the past, TV ads. At the same time, they've got to develop these strategies that mostly it's the door knocking and the mailings that they're using as strategies to catch those people that are getting the early ballots. Now, there's still about 32,000 absentee ballots that were mailed out still haven't been returned. If yours is one of them, they have to be postmarked by midnight tonight, or you got to drop them off here in person at the BOE by 7.30 tomorrow night. Reporting live at the Board of Elections, John Kosick, News Channel 5. News Channel 5 and the NewsNet 5 app are your place for all of your election coverage. We'll have up-to-the-minute results throughout the night on air and also online, as well as a special mobile cast at 9 p.m. with John Kosick. National coverage from ABC News starts at 10 p.m. And then a complete wrap-up on News Channel 5 at 11.